Lord of Lords. Now we acknowledge you as the Mover. We acknowledge you as the Miracle Walker. We acknowledge you as the God who speaks and comes to pass. We acknowledge you as our Redeemer. We acknowledge you as the God who has been fighting our battle. We acknowledge you that there is none like you and there is none who will compare with you. Father, we exalt your name in this house. Wherever you are this morning, let's worship the Lord. Let's exalt the name of the Lord. Let's reverence him. He's worthy of our praise. There is none like him. There is none to be compared with him. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Your foes we one day battle for your food. And the day they will declare you are king. It does not matter what they say or do now. I've come in. I will praise you, Lord. Your foes be one day battle for your soul. I 
yours and the earth is yours. Everything in the world is yours. You created it all. You created north and south. Mount Tabo, Mount Hammon, praise your name. Powerful is your hand, strong is your hand. Your right hand is lifted high in glorious strength. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your truth. Unfailing love and truth walk before you as attendants. We celebrate Jesus. We give God praise for the privilege to be in his presence again. Wednesday, the 27th day in the month of March. And it is the midweek edition of Morning Shower. Wherever you are this morning, begin to give God praise, begin to give God thanks, begin to appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for all that He has done. God who does all things well. The God who does all things well. Give Him praise and glory. The Lord God of hosts, our Adonai, our Father, our Creator, our Preserver. The one that keeps us from day to day, from week to week, from month to month, from year to year. Celebrate his goodness in your life. What is the hand of God? What has the hand of God done for you this week? What has God accomplished for your life this week? Our God is entirely faithful. He is entirely faithful. He is the one that rules the oceans. He is the one that subdues our enemies under our feet. He rules the oceans and the waves. He subdues our enemies under our feet. He subdues our enemies under our feet. He is the one that keeps us permanently in the place of victory, in the place of triumph. The earth and everything in the world is His. He created it all. He is the creator. He is the creator. He created the earth and everything that we see today is the creator of it all. He is the creator of it all. The mountains praise him. The valleys exalt his name. The hills declare his praise. What a great God. What a great God. Bless the name of the Lord because his good, his mercy endures forever. If the mountains will praise him, if the hills and the valleys will declare his praise, then what will be your excuse? What will be your excuse in not praising him? What will be your excuse in not, your excuse in not giving thanks? The right hand of God is powerful. The right hand of God does valiantly. The right hand of God is powerful. And the right hand of God does valiantly. The right hand of God does mighty things. The right hand of God does awesome things. The right hand of God does wonderful things. Bless his holy name this morning. He is worthy to be praised. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this morning. Father, we thank you for the privilege to be in your presence. We thank you for counting us worthy. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercy and your love. Father, may your name be praised forever and ever. May your name be praised forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. May your name be praised forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. This morning we pray, Lord, that you will touch our lives, O oh God. We pray that you will visit us, O oh God. We pray that you will cause mountains of problems to melt away from lives this day in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will cause long-standing issues in the lives of men and women connected to this prayer this morning. We pray that you will cause those issues to disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified, O God. Let your name be glorified, O God. Let your name be glorified, O God. In the name of Jesus. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus. On every one of the of my voice, O Lord, that every sin that will be an entrance to prayer today, let the blood of Jesus wash away in Jesus' name. Amen. Look upon our lives this day with mercy, O God. Look upon us, O God, with mercy, O Lord. Amen. Let your mercy prevail in our lives. Amen. Let mercy speak on our behalf. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May God stretch out his right hand 
against all those who have set themselves up as adversaries to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, stretch out your right hand, O Lord, against all my foes. In the name of Jesus, stretch out your right hand, O Lord, against my foes, against all those who have raised themselves up as adversaries to me, against all those who stand, who operate as my oppressor today, against every strong man, every strong woman that has risen against my life. Lord, stretch your hand, your right hand against them. Stretch your right hand against them. Stretch your right hand against them. In the name of Jesus, Father, stretch your right hand against them. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, Father, with your hand lifted in glorious strength, with your hand lifted in glorious strength, please recover for me my blessing that is overdue. In the name of Jesus, overdue blessings, overdue blessings, overdue breakthroughs, overdue testimony, with your hand lifted up in glorious strength. Father, by your mercy, with your hand lifted up in glorious strength, recover for me, Lord. Recover for me, Lord, my blessings. Recover for me, Lord, my breakthrough. Recover for me, Lord, my testimonies. My long overdue blessings. My long overdue reward. Recover them for me, my Father. In the name of Jesus. My long overdue answer in the place of prayer. Whatever you have been believing God for, you are believing Him for healing, believing Him for breakthrough, believing Him for life after. Whatever it is that you are believing God for, may God recover it for you now. In the name of, with His right hand lifted up, with His hand lifted up in glorious strength, may God recover it for you. In the name of Jesus, recover it for you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Whatever it is you are believing God for. Whatever it is that you have been knocking on the door of heaven for, I decree on your behalf this morning, may the hand of God, lifted in glorious strength, recover those things for you now, in the name of Jesus. May the hand of God recover those things for you, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, let your powerful hand, let it rescue me and my household from every satanic snare. Pray in the name of Jesus, the powerful arm of God, the powerful arm of God. Let it rescue me, O oh Lord. Let it rescue my household, O oh Lord, from every satanic snare. In the name of Jesus, Lord, your powerful hand, your powerful hand. Let it rescue me, let it rescue my household from every satanic snare and affliction that may have been laid up for me as I journey on in this year. Whatever is that snare, whatever is that affliction that has been laid up for me, laid up for my children, as we journey on in this year, let your powerful hand rescue me, Lord. Rescue my household in the name of Jesus. The power of God is able to rescue. Bible says that God is able to save to the uttermost. Ask him and say, Lord, rescue me. Let your hand rescue me from every satanic snare, every satanic trap, every affliction, sickness and infirmity that may have been laid up for me or for my children as we join on in this year. Let your powerful hand rescue us, O Lord. Rescue me, O Lord. Rescue my household, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, let us be rescued, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, Father, let your powerful hand, let him pull down mountains before me. I don't know what is that mountain before you. You know what it is. What is that mountain before you? The powerful arm of God. The arm of God that is lifted in power. Let it help you to overcome. Let it pull down before you mountains. Mountains of affliction. Mountains of hardship. Mountains of indebtedness. Mountains of joblessness. Mountains. You know, of, 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 of singleness, but mountains of, fruit, of, 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 of fruitlessness, let him pull it down in the name of Jesus. Let him pull it down in the name of Jesus. You want to move to the next level, but there's a mountain standing before you. There's a mountain preventing you as you attempt to move to the next level of your life. 
pray, Father, let your powerful hand, O God, let you pull down that mountain. In the name of Jesus, the mountain of opposition to my going forward, to my going forward, to my going forward, to my going to my location. The location that God has arranged for your life, the place, your own place of blessing, your own place of joy. What is that mountain that is standing before you? Pray, Father, let your powerful hand pull down that mountain now. Let him pull it down. In the name of Jesus, that mountain must not be able to stay. It must not be able to remain. In the mighty name of Jesus, it must not remain, O Lord. It must not be made, O Lord. Get your powerful hand, pull it down. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. As you go about your activities today, may God in his mercy remove from your way every occasion to stumble or to fall in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every occasion to stumble or to fall that is before you as you go about your activities today, may God in his mercy remove it in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God remove it in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God remove it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, please place my feet. Place my feet, O God, on the path to wellness, on the path to prosperity, on the path to joy. Place my feet, O God, on the path to wellness, the path to prosperity, the path to joy. In the name of Jesus, place my feet, O God, on the path to wellness, on the path to prosperity, on the path to joy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the joy that I seek, the breakthrough that I seek, the testimony that I seek, Father, place my feet on that path. That path that will lead me to my husband, that will lead me to my wife, that will lead me even to my children, that will lead me to my marriage, that path that will lead me to my breakthrough. Place my feet, O oh God, on that path in the name of Jesus. Place my feet, O oh God, on that path in the name of Jesus. Help me not to derail. Help me not to go off track. I will not go off track. There are pressures from the kingdom of darkness to make sure that you go off track. No doubt, there are pressures. Say to say, Father, I will not go off track. In the name of Jesus, I shall place my feet on this path. Lord, I will not go off track. I refuse to go off track. In the name of Jesus, I will not go off track. In the mighty name of Jesus, my life will not go off track. In the name of Jesus, I shall place my feet on this path, O oh God. The path to wellness, the path to abundance. Lord, I will not go off track. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. May the Lord be your defense. May God be your protector. May God be your helper. All true, not just for one day, not for one week. All true. May God permanently, may he be your defense. May he permanently be your protector. May he permanently be your helper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree this morning. Every good thing that I desire, every good thing that belongs to me this week, this month, this year, will naturally find its way to me. Decree that in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that belongs to me, every blessing that belongs to me, every virtue that belongs to me, whether this week, whether this month, whether this year, it will naturally, effortlessly, find its way to me in the name of Jesus. It find its way to me. The power of God will direct it to my life. The power of God will direct it to my life. The power of God will direct it to my life. It shall be directed to my life. In the name of Jesus, it shall be directed to my life. In the name of Jesus, it shall be directed to my life. In the name of Jesus, it shall be directed to my life. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, Lord, I receive grace. Ah, Father, I receive grace to be healthy in body and in spirit. I receive grace, O oh Lord, to be healthy in body and in spirit. In the name of Jesus, my body will not accommodate sickness and diseases. Talk to God in prayer. I receive grace, O oh Lord, to be healthy in body and in spirit. 
my body will not accommodate sickness, will not accommodate diseases. In the name of Jesus, I receive that grace. Lord, I receive that grace. Lord, I receive that grace. Grace to be healthy in body and in spirit. I receive it, O oh Lord. This body will not accommodate sickness, will not accommodate disease. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive that grace, my Father. 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 Grace to be healthy in body and in spirit. I receive it now. This body will not accommodate sickness and diseases. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Your body will not become uh, a, a breeding ground for affliction in the name of Jesus. It's not going to be a breeding ground for cancer in the name of Jesus. It's not going to be a breeding ground for sicknesses that defy human solution in the name of Jesus. Your body will not become a breeding ground for satanic plantations to try in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is not of God, we will not find comfort in your body in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not of God, we will not find rest in your body in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not of God, we have no place in your body in the name of Jesus. Bible said that and there was no place for the devil in heaven and he was cast down. There was no place for him. If there had been a place for him, he would have been accommodated. There was no place for him, so he was cast down. I speak to somebody today, there will be no place for the devil and his works in your body, in the name of Jesus. There will be no place for sickness to try in your body, in the name of Jesus. There will be no place for affliction, body pain. You know, no matter the name of the sickness, there will be no place for you to try in your body, in the name of Jesus. And because there is no place for it, may your body begin to reject now. By the power of God coming upon you now, may the power of God come upon you now. May your body begin to reject everything that is not of God in your life, in the name of Jesus. May your body begin to reject everything that is not of God in your life, in the name of Jesus. Everything in this your body, whatever enemy has planted there overnight, while you were, while men slept, while you were sleeping, may your body eject it now, in the name of Jesus. Eject it now, in the name of Jesus. Eject it now, in the name of Jesus. It will find no place in your body. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Divine wellness is your portion. Divine health is your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. God will cause you to be at rest. God will cause things to be well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not suffer affliction in any form. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. It is not enough for our lives to please God. Our sacrifices, our offering also must please God. If you want to draw the goodness of God into your life, you want to draw the blessings of God into your life, you want to draw the favor of God into your life, then your life must please God. Your sacrifice that you bring to Him must please Him. It must please Him. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 8, verse 21, and the Lord was pleased with the aroma of the sacrifice. The Lord was pleased with the aroma of the sacrifice. The sacrifice that Noah offered to God after the flood. The Bible said that the Lord was pleased with the aroma of the sacrifice. It is important that the sacrifice you are offering to God, when you are coming to church or to worship, whether on Sunday or during the week, you are actually offering a sacrifice to Him. When you are giving to support the work of God in one area or the other, you are actually offering a sacrifice to God. When you are spending your time to accomplish one thing or the other for the furtherance of the kingdom of God, either in your local church 
or in the community as large, you are actually offering a sacrifice to God. But the unfortunate thing today is that many are offering sacrifices to God, but those sacrifices are not acceptable. They are not pleasing to Him. Why? Because at times, because of the acts with which they are offering that sacrifice. If their heart is not right. At times, because of the intentions that they have in offering those sacrifices. It should not be acceptable. At times, because of the place where they are offering the sacrifice. There are many things that can make a sacrifice offered to God not be pleasing to God. Many. And there are many today that their sacrifices to God is not pleasing to Him. So they are not able to receive from Him what they ought to receive from Him. I pray it should be of, it should be of importance to you, therefore. Not just that you are offering sacrifice to God, but it should be of importance to you to receive affirmation, to receive confirmation from your spirit that this sacrifice is pleasing. It's pleasing. The Bible said the Lord was pleased with the aroma of the sacrifice. So it means that God may not have been pleased. It's possible for a man to offer a sacrifice and God will not be pleased. For instance, the Bible told us that Cain offered a sacrifice to God and God was not pleased. God was not pleased. And when God is not pleased, the heaven will remain closed. The, a, a, a sacrifice offered to God, if it does not please God, cannot attack open heaven. If God's blessing must go, must flow from into your life, then what you offer to Him must be pleasing to Him. The Lord was pleased with the aroma of the sacrifice, and He said to Himself, I will never again curse the ground because of the human race. Look at that. Look at that. Because He was pleased, He, he committed Himself. Because He was pleased, He, he started making declarations. He started binding Himself with some oaths. Powerful oath. He said, I will never again cost the ground. Why? Because it's meant a suit. You see, your sacrifice can make God to do unusual things in your life. If you can offer a sacrifice that is pleasing to Him, He can make you do unusual things in your life. I pray, may your sacrifice to God in the day, in the night, may it be pleasing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just as it is important for God to be pleased with your life. Just as it is important for God to be pleased with your lifestyle, it is also important that you must be pleased with your sacrifice. May your sacrifice be pleased to Him in Jesus' name. Amen. There are people today that have been serving God for years, yet yeah, they are not getting benefit of service. They are worshipping God as if they are not worshipping God. People are, thinking, people are even mocking them now. Where is your God? Uh, this is your God that you are serving. Can't He help you? This is your God that you are going to. Every time you are always. You are, I mean, you are not seeing the benefit of it in your life. Because. Even though they are offering sacrifice, it's not, it's not pleasing to him. It's not pleasing to him. But from today, we seek grace to offer sacrifice that is pleasing to God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your sacrifice is pleasing to him in Jesus' name. Amen. And the blessing that your sacrifice should attract, may you may begin to attract it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you go this morning, may the grace of God be with you. Amen. May the hand of God guide you. Amen. May the blessing of God fall upon your life. Amen. May it be well with you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you. Have a great day.